common problem that we have here at Cardiac Arrhythmia Service is syncope. Syncope affects young and old alike. You may find yourself on the floor, you may not even know how you got there, or you could feel lightheaded, you can feel dizzy, and fall to the floor. Unfortunately, it is a very common problem, but one that we deal with all the time here at Cardiac Arrhythmia Service. If we suspect that a low blood pressure may be the cause of syncope, we may suggest a tilt table test. What a tilt table test is, is you stand up for about 25 minutes and we monitor your blood pressure. We see how your heart rate and your blood pressure do while you're standing. And we're gonna strap the patient so that they don't fall off. We are gonna connect the patient to an IV, which was already placed when she came in and some water or saline will be going through. We're also going to hook the patient up to a blood pressure cuff so that we can monitor the blood pressure very closely during the test. The other thing that we monitor during the tilt table test is the heartbeat. By placing EKG leads on the, on the patient, we're able to monitor the heartbeat throughout the procedure. The procedure takes 25 minutes. We tilt the patient up from laying to standing, and then for the first 15 minutes, we monitor the blood pressure and the heartbeat. After 15 minutes of standing up, the nurse is going to administer a pill underneath the tongue. If you feel lightheaded or dizzy at all, let us know. If you feel anything that's not normal, you let us know. The nurses and I are going to be watching and monitoring your heartbeat and your blood pressure for the next 25 minutes. So if we see anything concerning, we will talk to you and see how you are doing. The pill may make you feel a little bit lightheaded, give you a little bit of a headache, but that should pass. This is supposed to help reproduce the symptoms to give us a more accurate test. We raise the table to 75 degrees and for the next 25 minutes, you're gonna be standing up as we monitor your blood pressure and your heart rate. While you're standing up, I'm gonna ask you to let us know if you feel lightheaded, dizzy, if you have palpitations, or if you feel anything that's not normal. Just let us know. After the 25 minutes is up, or if the blood pressure drops to a point that we need to, we will put you down and lower the table. At that point, we will talk to you, make sure you're feeling okay. We may give you a little bit of fluids to help bring your blood pressure back up. And if you weren't feeling well, within a minute or two, you'll be feeling back to yourself. If we suspect that the heartbeat may be an issue, what we'd like to do is monitor the heart. One of the ways is a Holter monitor. This is a 24-hour monitor where you have stickers placed on your chest and it's connected by wires to a box which monitor the heart for 24 hours. If we need longer monitoring, there is a two-week monitor, which is a patch that we simply place on your chest, which we can do in our office, and once it's done, you return it to the company and we can evaluate and we can review the two weeks worth of monitoring. If two weeks isn't enough, there's an implantable loop recorder, which is a little chip that we can place under a skin which, with a very simple and short procedure that can monitor the heart for up to two to three years. This is the device we talk about. It's an insertable cardiac monitor and has the size of a paperclip. And we place it underneath the skin in your chest in this area. It requires a very small incision, the width of this device, and we will use local anesthesia only for this. The total amount of time that this will require is on the order of two minutes.